Good morning. We are here for an autocross with the Buckeye Miata Club. It is taking place in Circleville, Ohio on a go-kart track. So while we normally run the go-kart, we're not running the go-kart today. We're running the golf because they won't let us run the go-kart. I don't know. It seems kind of odd, but anyway, all three of us are here. Alex is over here. It looks pretty open. They don't have a lot of cones out. A uh, little slalom on the big straight at the back of the course. But other than that, it's pretty much just a go-kart track. Should be a lot of fun. Flag at your side, unless you're actually waving it. Um, it's really easy to get bored out there and start doing one of these. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> but maybe Thomas would have So make sure so I'm running first, then Alex, I believe, then Ashley. We're in grid, waiting to start. Here's the start line. About 25 cars per group, run group. We're going to be three run groups. I'm really excited. Ashley's nervous, so she's gonna ride passenger with me yeah. while she's not working. Alex out on the course working. This should be fun. There are only like three cones that are on the course. The others are just like in the, in the inside of the corners, marking the you know the inside the apex sort of. So it should be really fast. I know it's just a go kart track, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. just a quick update on my morning runs because I have not been doing my job videoing. Um, Alex has been riding with me because he's had this like session off. Um, I've done three of my runs. They've improved every time. My first one was a 60 and my last one was a 53.9 I believe. Um, it just started downpouring and I still have one run left and I don't think I've ever like autocross in the rain so I'm a little nervous but I guess we'll see how it goes. Just the fourth run of the second run group, and it just now started to rain. I'll show you. Which means I'll be the only one that won't get a dry lap, most likely, unless it just quits. So after they get done with these runs, it's my turn on wet pavement. So let's see how it goes. Ashley's last run was in the wet. So she. Did she get any faster? She got pretty quick. She got a 53. So she had a pretty good run for being wet. Yeah. Well, that was her third run. I didn't ride with her on the fourth, but her third run was a 53 and it was pretty nice. Oh, that one wasn't in the wet, though, was it? No. So Alex is getting ready to go. She only had one run. And the track is fairly wet. It's not raining now. Blue skies. So it should dry up as the day goes on. Cause, but I don't know if it'll completely dry up for his morning run so he may have to wait till the evening unfortunately it is a lot of fun now you're gonna enjoy it i hope i do so when this rolled in earlier i looked at alex and said that thing's got an ls swap in it and sure enough it does probably a little out of its element probably make a pretty good drift car Got the e brake handle and everything in there. Interior's all stripped out. My buddy Josh's Subaru RS, which is swapped with a two liter SPI engine. Pretty neat looking car. 
I was really, really close to buying a Lance Revolution MR several years ago. Didn't happen. Anyway, this one's pretty fast out there today. I like it. It's a good looking car. fairly tame looking car but he's really moving it around out there on course the thing's just scooting out of the corners i don't know if he's got the engine tuned or what he's on 200 treadwear tires just a four-door si civic but he's moving it very impressive driver i believe this sti has ftd so far for the morning runs. Caged out. Looks like a track car. So this thing's got 295 Hoosier A7s on all four corners. That's some grip. So I assume this means it's tuned for E85. Should be pretty powerful. All right, it's Thursday. Uh, we've been wanting to make a review video for a couple days, but we've all been kind of busy. Anyway, the event went really well. I thought we had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. I finished seventh overall, fifth in class, 47934, which they initially didn't have correct, but I have video proof, had the GoPro on. Alex, how was your run? I don't know. I mean, I guess they were awkward because I hadn't really been on a track, which it, like it wasn't a track, but it was a track. So it took me a, an adjustment period. I had some issues with the car and solved those on the last couple runs. And I'd say they were good. I really wish it hadn't rained earlier in my you, beginning runs. You thought you were going to do well on the track, though because of the simulator you have put a lot of time in the simulator so you thought you was going to be good at the track to start with right yeah i guess you finished 12th overall and seventh in class which i think is pretty good yeah but you're still not you're still not quite happy with the end result no, no I, I you know. wanted to catch me mm -hmm. uh, i think it was two two maybe two runs that i was just happy with and other than that i was so the good. issues with the car he's talking about is we it's a DSG and there were a couple corners where we were trying to downshift it manually and it wouldn't go uh, for the majority of laps. There were a couple laps where it seemed to work okay and some where it didn't. I'm not really sure what's going on, but anyway. Ashley, how was yours? 
Mine were pretty good. I was the only one that had to actually drive in the rain, though, and that kind of yeah. sucked because my fourth run was, like, completely sabotaged Actually, by the rain. Most, most of Alex's were in the wet, but yours was, was actually raining. In the rain, yeah. Were, the, were you worried about that? Yes. I, have, yeah. I don't think I've ever had to autocross in the rain. Like, I've drove in the rain, but not, like, had to, like, race in the rain. But Did anybody go off in the rain? I don't know that anybody went off the course in the rain. There were several that went off in the later, yeah, later like, in the day, but. I mean, I thought, I, I thought it was going to be really tricky being on a track, and especially since it was a kart track, it looked narrow, but it really wasn't that Even difficult. Even though you had been on that track, track before, like, many years ago. How long ago was it? Like, 10 years ago? 10 years ago? Probably. Maybe 11 years ago? Yeah. Because you were 7, right? Probably. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. not sure, but... Speaking on that, I have my first track scare of on the race. You got a scare? Yeah, I was... what. Well, was it my evening runs or first runs? I don't remember. But it was coming off the back straight. I was getting close to the edge. I had to like almost stop just to clear from going off track. It yeah. was nerve wracking. I, I think they could have used a cone at the track out point to kind of keep people up. And maybe the same thing on that, that back part. It was right just before the straight late breaking. Where, uh, so it wasn't set up. The, S, the Focus SD went off. And, Almost got into the wet stuff down there. Oh, yeah. Uh, there were some cool cars there. Um, that was neat. Uh, saw a lot of people we didn't didn't know running. A lot of cars that we'd never seen before. It's kind of neat when you go to a different region or different, run with a different group. Um, there was one guy there that was really impressive. He was in a 2020 new Honda Civic Si four door on 200 treadwear tires i believe it looked stock just like like a regular grocery getter but the guy ended up fourth overall in the b class which was just that's ridiculous i, I don't know he, he's a very good driver named eric arthur good job guy uh anything else no you no. guys want to go back do it again yeah i like yeah, it yeah was fun they have ran a few events on the same weekend as our uh, local SCCA group had, has had their races, so we haven't been able to go. This is the first one that was not during the same weekend. I liked it. I thought everybody was nice. People were very talkative and were good about helping, uh, even it, though they didn't know us. Also, well ran. Everything yeah. went really smoothly. Uh, they were sending cars out probably about every 30 seconds. You think? Yeah. Yeah, that would be accurate because yeah. they were starting people. They yeah. didn't have a car that hit the timer light at the finish, which was bad. I guess it was good that he didn't destroy the timer because he got it going again. Noting I almost did that a long time, so I was yeah. coming. I was cutting close to it. I think it was. A, yeah. It was a, it was a dangerous spot. For that time. that car that hit it was uh, getting a little sideways most of the day. Was that two thousand? No, it was that uh, light two yellow. WRX, the bug guy. I never watched him. He yeah. must have been in my rest group or something. Yeah, it was when I was driving and you were riding with yeah. me, and we were stopped, but we couldn't see what was happening right. because we were on the farther line. Uh, we got beat by a, or I see, I got beat by a Cobra, <laughs> which looked wild in the little courses. Got beat by a blah by STI. The STI, which was incredible. Uh, the guy's also really fast. He's a good driver. Um, any other cool cars? I guess the, the was it the S15? That was with the trick Sylvia. car. Yeah. Hey, it was cool, but it, it wasn't really set up for the Yeah, purpose. like I say, it's kind of out of its element. More of a drift car. Which he did quite a bit of drift on that I'd track. Give him props for actually trying, because... Yeah, he did. He did okay. No, I'm talking about Lacey. Yeah, the dog. Yeah. Um, here, take this and go in here. It's about a two hour drive away from us. That's not good. But I guess Parkersburg's about two almost. Yeah, it's not much further. Fairly nice place. They got the paddock areas kind of in the dirt. Yeah, but I like that, like, as opposed to our like, region, they had a food truck and there were bathrooms. Like, for us, like, we have to leave to, like, 
Those go get were, lunch and to go pee. Those were barely <laughs> bathrooms. They were. <laughs> I never went in. I mean, oh, was the girls okay? Yeah, well, the it guys was, was it pretty was okay. Pretty skanky. <laughs> well, the, the women's was okay. Well, that's good. Maybe I should sneak in there <laughs> yeah, next sneak time. In there. Uh, anything else? We got an event in two days, Saturday. This comes Saturday at Parkersburg. So me and Alex will be back in the cart and actually be back in the car and we'll be there going fast. See ya.